A Henrico police reconstruction team returns to the scene Wednesday trying to piece together the chain of events that led up to Tuesday afternoon's deadly crash. Police say the driver of a single car with three people inside traveling at a high rate of speed lost control as they went around the corner at Old West and Kilcoman Drives. It then went onto the sidewalk where it hit and killed two dogs that were being walked. Their owner was not hurt. It then hit a tree and a parked truck. Stephen Gibbs was nearby when it happened. I heard the first screech, which was very short. Then I heard the second screech of tires and very loud noise. Um, it startled me. Police say all three in the car were 14-year-old students from Hermitage High School. The driver and one passenger are expected to survive, but the other died of his injuries. We're taking it hour by hour, minute by minute. Yes, we can. The best we can. Wednesday, family members who visited the crash site identified the teen who died as Keon Johnson. Big teddy bear, a knowing teddy bear, but he was a loving, sweet, kind. Young man. The family says they don't know who the other two boys were and are focused on trying to help Johnson's mother get back to the country, saying she's on a COVID delayed cruise and isn't scheduled to return until the 29th. She's lost and we need to get her home so that she can be with her son and that she can mourn properly. Police say the car was not stolen and belonged to one of the families involved. They and they want the case to serve as a reminder to parents and guardians to take precautions to prevent unlicensed minors from getting behind the wheel. It's just tragic. You know, there's uh, three families, four involved, including the, the dogs, and um, it's it's something that has been going on for quite a while. Those factors aside, residents tell CBS 6 speeding has been a longtime concern here. It's just not really a safe corner. William Cannon says he complained to the county several years ago regarding the blind corner and got these signs installed to alert drivers. After se several wrecks right down the hill, and I very much doubt that many people pay much attention to it because they're not real sure what the sign means. But Cannon and Gibbs say Tuesday is just another example that more is needed, like speed bumps or a stop sign, to prevent future tragedies. Something to slow people down. Because, like I said, uh, a lot of people walk here in the evenings and the mornings. And coming up at 6 o'clock, what Henrico County Public School says they had in place at Hermitage High School to help students there cope with this crash. In Henrico County, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.